What is going on guys, Avram Zalu here And today, we're back in another episode of NHL 19 Franchise Mode With your LA Kings And as you see here, I simulated by myself till January You know, just to get, a, I was a bit excited Something went on with, with the TV or something, so I couldn't record anymore So, as you see here it was a pretty slow start to the season. I think the goaltending was a bit of a problem. I couldn't really trust Pedersen. And you know, shit happens, okay? Like, we got into a streak. I tried making line changes and stuff like that. We're in a wild card spot, so this, it's not bad, okay? So we're, but there is teams in the hunt, so we really we would really want to get get some victories here we're 21 15 and 6 and uh i i fixed a bit the, the scouts and stuff like that and as you see well not as you see but i did a big trade here for a goaltender a prospect goaltender so as you see here we acquired uka pekka lukonen Will Borgen and three others from Buffalo for for Cal Patterson, Nick Suzuki, and two others. We needed to get that through. We needed a goaltender prospect for now, a young goaltender. Well, younger than Cal Patterson. I mean, you know, I think Uka Pekka Lukanen will do the work long term. And he grows, he simulates very well in this game. So I'm happy to, happy to see him with our team. As you see here, Nick Suzuki, it's been a fail, honestly. I don't know why he couldn't grow. He really couldn't grow, honestly. I, I was expecting a lot from him, but you know, apparently in this game he doesn't grow. So this is a bit of a disappointment. And as you see here, we did a bit, a little trade with with Columbus. We traded away Sven Andrighetto. And the fourth for their third. So you know we traded a, a fourth liner for for a third rounder. So this is a good trade for us. And it's like salary dump. So and as you see here, our contract situation. We have thirteen mil. We have extension dollars. We will have to pay Hagman. We will have to pay him in. In two years, three years, I think. No, two years. Yeah, because this is th this year. And I've offered Dylan Cousins, Bushnevich. I want him back for 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 some time. See if, if he's going to do. Well, Bushnevich has been good. He's been he's been producing. You know, the Mesnikov. I'm going to see Zikov. I'm going to see. You know, I don't know why I'm expecting that much from these defensemen, from these guys. Angelo, Josh Brook, I want him back. Uh, Matt Luff, Matt Luff, I'm going to extend two more years, or else he just, or else he's just, uh, he's just AHL. Borgen, Will Borgen, okay, that's that's what we got back from Buffalo. He's an offensive defenseman. He has, uh, uh, okay. Doesn't seem to be, he's, he has good, good agility. He's pretty fast. Good acceleration. Uh, he's really strong. He's six foot two. He has one year left. Maybe sign him to, uh, one more year. You know, give him a one year contract. And these guys will have to, We'll have to sign some of them. I can't sign, I sign him down. Uh, yes, we can. We actually can. So I'm going to sign you. Put you in the team. So, oh, for next next year, they're going to be in. You know, so it's okay. And let's check our goaltender prospects too. That's what I want to see too. Okay, uh, goalies who's expiring. Ukopeka, Lukinen, we will have... To offer him, so why not now? Ooh, okay. Can I give him? F this is a good contract. Oh, okay. If he wants 
if he wants 3.8 this is good okay we have him for three for for another eight years so I would consider doing that Velalta uh, okay so you you're 22 so either you're AHL either you just grow so I'll give him like three years yes three years won't hurt anyone uh, Morosa okay you we're going to have you there and the goaltender situation now okay so it's with Georgiev is still there in the system this is what I want to see yeah we will have some goaltenders I want to see if he can he has big value in the market that third round that friend medium franchise goalie so I want to have him play so what I will do and I fired every AHL scout I figured out that uh, that the scouts weren't like the AHL scouts aren't useful uh, at any any way okay as you see here Lukanen is our is our back is, is our f what okay wait a sec he was with Buffalo so yeah okay so yes he, he was on yeah he was on a bad team Buffalo has a negative record yeah, AHL, AHL, OHL, okay. He's been on pretty bad teams. Look, neg negative record. Both NHL and AHL. Hopefully, it's going to change here. You know, he's getting his chance on a better team. Velata, Jones, th they're both good goalies. I, I would want to see... Uh, nah, I want to see the, the franchise goaltender medium franchise see what he can do there our HL team Zikov okay it's pretty stacked yeah it's pretty stacked for, for their Gautier I don't know why I offered you that much oh, not, not even that much but still a disappointment like every free agent signing that were deft just ended up being HLers also you so Let's see the the situation here. Our scratches. See if I can. Uh, it's all good. Okay. Uh, Borgen. Okay. Borgen, you're you're staying down there. Let's uh, defenseman. Yeah, we're bringing in Osterle. Probably McPherson. Uh. Probably that. McDermott. He hasn't had any minutes. So I don't know why I'm going. Uh, I'll, I'll put. I'll stay McPherson there. Borgen. He, he is waivers by the way. We have some good D's here. Solzer. Brook. He's a medium top four. So this is good. At 20 years old. He's, he's a 77. So. I'll let him grow there. I won't rush him at all so this is yep won't rush him at all yeah okay so Osterley was there uh, who is this guy okay is he young okay yes he is a uh, Borgen never mind I'm just going to give it to Borgen here and uh, if you hear a noise behind, it's my fan. So. Okay, good. So, yeah, I was making a lot of noise. Like, if you can hear it, just... Okay. So, yeah. Akio Thomas is actually getting some minutes, so... And he's growing, so this is good sign. We have a pretty young team. I don't know why we're back to rebuilder when we we're hopeful before. You know, I want to just pick up some people. You know, just Cedric Pocket. 
Okay, I, uh, never mind. So we have a couple of rookies. Well, not not really, but who cares? So let's simulate. I'm getting a bunch of imitations. If you guys see that on screen, don't don't worry about it. Let's simulate, simulate till the trade deadline first, and then after that we will simulate. Okay, Gunstrom accepted. Bushnevich is back. Okay, Obekubel. Rampel rejected. Okay. Velardi accepted. Cozen accept. A laughable offer? I gave you a team friendly contract. I don't know what's laughable from your part uh, for you. Okay? Because that was actually a good contract. You know, like. I'm, I'm not going to offer you five mil. I don't know what you're becoming. Are you, you know, so I'm just Josh Brook accepted. So this everyone accepted except from from Rampol and and uh, and Cousins. Yes, Cousins. Morgan accepted. Matt Luff accepted. Vilata accepted. Uko Pekka Lukanen accepted. So this is good. Let's see how our team does. Oh my god, no. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. We can't... Okay. Good win by... Okay. Ukopeka Lukunen is not really doing great. Another five goals. Oh, come on. Okay. Wait a sec. Should I get a jacket? Wait a sec. Stop. Spamming. Invites. I'm recording, buddy. So draft class. Like honestly, I'm taking scouting, you know, very seriously now. So you, why not scout? Maybe I could trade. Uh, you know. Well, it's not really. A his overall is D, but like his his scouting rank is like probably an A because broke both my scouts from the Q are uh, are A plus in the region. So don't worry about that, that guys. Just don't go just don't go crazy in the comments. I I wouldn't take a a, a scout that is D in his region in this region. So you know. So yeah, I want to know about you. Uh, potential and comparison is the most important thing. So, mm, okay, it's not. It doesn't seem really good. Yeah, but it's not very. It's not clear. So he might be better, might be worse. So potential and, co and comparison. I don't know why you guys have nothing to report when you guys are scouts in this region. Or is it too soon? Maybe. Okay, and I have a scout for the rest of the world too, so... Oh uh, no, please. Okay, two big wins. I think stuff is, uh... Okay, 2 nothing win. What a shutout, okay? So... We see that. I'm recording a video, God. Who got injured? Josh Brook. Uh, let's see his replacement. Why not? Because there's some players I'm considering playing. Yeah, you're 21. So, Borgen is actually 74, as you see down there. So, this is not very good. Oh, uh, no. We can't lose. What happened to our offense? What a sec. What I would want to check is our record from the last 10. Okay? Because... Okay, so... We're f 7 points from the playoffs. Ugh. William Carson very slowed down. He was a point... He, he was actually a point leader in this league. So, let's check the... It's better off checking there because... I don't want to just... Okay. 
Let's see who has more points. Hackman probably going to unite these three and then have Bushnevich. Wait a sec, forwards. Uh, centers. Let's see. Okay, maybe, maybe this might. Yeah, we have a lot of centers, so not like that. Okay, Bushnevich is in the first line. Bushnevich copied to our Gunstrom, maybe Villardi Lundell, and Tessier Krebs in the Mesnikov. Okay, so maybe it might go like that. But honestly, you know. But I want to change something, okay? A Hackman, go to the left. You stay there, okay? Uh, okay, stay like that. Who has more points? 26 points. Okay, he has more. So why not? Uh, Lundell, you still stay there. Tessier, okay. So I think this might be a good change. Our defense is pretty weak. So maybe he's minus seven, eighteen points. Minus nine. Yeah, we actually need a defensive defenseman. I don't know who to give, but we actually need someone. Minus eleven for Sean Walker. And you're like, okay, so maybe. Wait a sec. Walker is out. He has been out our was defenseman, as you see here. Okay, so Osterley, you're, you're getting your ass up there. Let's just see if. Oh, I forgot to check uh, Ukopeka Lukanen. It looks a. Oh my lord, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> uh. Is it because of uh, his stats? He has only one win. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know what to do. But we were... Uh, last year... Last year, we didn't make the playoffs. Okay, so I think we need... I think we need to get... We need to get something good. I think the Nicolas goalie, the 50 overall goal, franchise goaltender who's in, who's in the minors. I think we have to bring, I think we have to put him in if there is a trade. Okay, so Vilata, he's actually a 47 overall. So he won't grow. He, he actually just won't grow. Okay, okay, Ukopega looking in. He's actually getting a. Uh, he's getting there, okay. You're, you're getting your chance. Oh my God. It looks like I'm just rushing him right now. It just looks like I'm rushing him. Yeah, I'm actually. I actually played him. He's he's actually a 47 overall. So we need a big deadline move to be able to get into this playoff race. Because honestly. Oh my god, Essa Hagman just got injured, okay. Oh my lord, you, you've just got to be kidding me. you just got to be kidding me. Okay, just uh, bring up Obekubel. Why not? Because uh, why the hell not? He has no waivers too, so... And also I can keep him in here. And coming to the trade deadline, I can, I can, yeah, I can keep him because you can have the number of forwards you want, the number of, uh, of people you want on your team after the trade deadline. I think. So who has more points? Krebs had 11 points. Okay, okay, four and uh, eight. So Obi Kuba, you're getting your chance. Oh my God, Hagman was big. Back to the lines, okay. Uh, let's put in Pedersen. Extras. Yeah, why not Pedersen? Just, okay, best lines in the AHL, okay. 
Okay, so as you see here, we will make a big trade here, okay? Okay, so let's shop for for like a defenseman or forward, another forward. So let's see the goaltender's value because his value is big. Yes, uh, same. It's like the same as Uka Pekka Lukanen. Yeah, you know he's franchise, so we could get maybe we could get a good good forwards or something, you know. So probably call it nah. Okay, uh, Columbus. Uh, I don't know if I should get another goalie. Honestly, this is what's questionable here. We could get Brobovsky, and then we send down Lekinen, Lekinen down. We send down Lekinen, and then after that, we get... Yeah, we could get Brobovsky, okay? This could be something like a good trade here, okay? We could also get uh, Bailey. No, no thanks. Okay, Carlson... Like, what I actually want is just, okay. Okay, Josh Bla Bailey, maybe as a rental. Okay, no, okay, never mind. He's not, it's not, like, no. Okay, uh, Cam At Atkinson, nah, pff, I'm not even taking that contract. Obviously not. I would want to get these guys. Uh, Bjorkstrand. It'll, it will cost a lot for him. Will it be... Yeah, it will go through. Can I give him a first here? Uh... Nothing. I have nothing to give. I have two first. Okay, never mind. I don't. I thought I had like two first in one year. Uh, maybe a second. A, a third. A seven. Like all these sevens because I don't know why I have them. Nah, it's going to hurt the value. And I don't know about that. Uh, Gabriel Carlson. Nah. So something like this will go through, but what I actually want Skaters matching block there. There isn't any skaters matching block pretty funny considering that uh, Can we get a first off them? They don't have first for like the next Okay, yes Let let's hurt hurt the value a little here uh, I think we could like after that trade him during the off season maybe. But Z I really like Sven Berchi. Mm, Josh Anderson. They're not clearly some. Yeah, Josh Bailey might be good. Okay, like we could we we could grab him. But. Let's shop somewhere else first, okay? Oh! Oh, wait a sec. Okay, let's take there first. Let's shop for... There's orange... Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, wait a sec, wait a sec. I have a plan, guys, I have a plan. The thing is that we also need some goaltending. Okay, uh, okay, Honka, forwards, Nishushkin, yeah, it would maybe go through this one, okay, like, we, we would grab very good, a very good goaltender. This one could be revisited after, okay? So, let's shop somewhere else, too. We're shopping for... 
literally everything okay guys so there's also Borgstrom oh my god okay okay the Panthers have a good prospect uh, prospect pool oh uh, okay we, we will have too many players so we will have to give up someone Uh, David, okay, this guy is not going anywhere. Josh Brook, will it hurt the value? Has too many injuries to make the deal. What do you mean? Like, okay, this will go through. Okay, so let's see other, something else here. Uh... Also, we have to we have to go. We have to also uh, see the future here, okay, guys. Travis Sanheim might be something good here. Forwards, and also we need a goalie here, so don't forget. Travis Konechny maybe. And I don't know if like yeah, they only have Carter Hart as a good goalie, so this might like not even go through. Like what I like is the is the is the stars one, you know? Vasilevsky no like I don't think we're even getting that. But they have some good forwards, so uh Yanni Gord, no. Yeah, so what I like is the Dallas Stars one. If we could maybe manage manage to take something here, you know, like okay, first for this year, first for next year. We, yeah, we take this, take away this. Th this might go through. This is the kind of trade that might go through. If we take a forward, if we take a forward from them, we have to give one back. Okay, so. Uh, Nishushkin. This won't go through for sure. So, we will have to give something like maybe Peeling. Lundell, we're not giving. Yeah, Peeling, probably Peeling. And will this, will this go through? It just wouldn't go through. So, probably two firsts. Hope they're bad for because we're taking away their their number one goaltender and let's also make them retain the salary and why not will this go through yes this will go through so we got what we needed we used the value uh, the value years and we got a, ourselves two goaltenders for the future and talking about low tenders for the future to end this episode so what we will we'll keep Lucan Lekinen and look 26 years old it's still young and he will be here for the rest of this for the rest of this franchise so we have two good goaltenders for the future so let's go is there anything we could we could maybe shop here Let's uh, l let's explore here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Mike Condon, no, thank you. They have Bergeron on the block, but I'm not. Nah, he's 36. You know. Okay, familiar face here. What I'm also. What I'm also searching to do. Is to actually get younger. Maybe maybe get younger. If we don't. Maybe like a year younger maybe. But other than that. I'm just not. Okay. Uh, Dallas Stars. Niels Honglanger. He will. You know. It's good here. Ryan McLeod. Okay. He's a low elite. 
we won't uh no uh okay so let's maybe trade okay let's see what, what we can have here maybe use some of these guys for defensemen okay like maybe Kupari maybe trade him for for a good defenseman L let's look for a defenseman here okay because okay new Tivara will this go through no so they're not I don't even think they're interested in giving in so this not very surprised if this would go through Lindell okay like it looks like it's the same value but it's really not I'm not I, I'm not here to grab a rental I'm trying to take something from long term okay so oh Chaloski bro he has a six year contract too he's actually getting paid already Uh, I'm not taking. Oh my God! Okay. They they have Nikita Zaitsev. What? And he turns out to be an 88 overall. That's ironic. Pretty ironic. There's Lassie Thompson. There's not interested in Jordan Schmaltz. Uh, this is not very. Uh. Maybe Juleson, he's in 83. Victor Mete, maybe? Just. Maybe add in the pick? For Mete, he's, he's in an 83 overall, so this is really good. And one thing again, we have, we, ha we have some firsts. A second. So this will go through. So, we're making moves, guys. We're making moves. Okay, so let's check our lines now and see what's going on here. Okay, so as you see here, these are new line combinations. Okay, so Osterle, you're getting. Okay, uh, Victor Mete is in the system. Sucks, guys. Sometimes they just have to. Sometimes they just. Oh my god. Austin, like, honestly, I would also do some contract dumps. Uh, make Dermid. Has he. I don't know about these guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's send down. Nah, I'd rather send down Austerly. Mm, Austerly, has he had better stats? He has two points. He hasn't played a game yet. McDermott hasn't played a game yet. And it might get claimed, so. You know, so. As you see here. And we're back to hopeful. I don't know if that really matters, but okay. I don't know if it really affects our way of, of simulating. But, okay. You know. It is what it is. He might even go with the... Uh, yeah. Okay. So... So we have pretty good left-handed defensemen. Mete can actually move the puck. So this is good. 19 points. He has 16. And they have 20. So I I'm keeping him like that. I I'm going to put him on the power play too. Uh, Niku... Niku, you're getting out of here. Yes. And, yeah. So, when Hagman comes back, I'm replacing, you know, Pedersen. Foreman power play. Okay. Okay, Obekuber. Okay. This extra is four on four. I'm not putting you there. I am just sorry, but I'm not putting you there. 
Oh, okay, Cozens. Yeah, Cozens can be here. Oh my god. Kopitar is an 83 overall. I just didn't even... I didn't even realize that. How ironic. Mete... You know, so I've been... I think it's been a decent job. I think we've got what we, what we wanted. I think our forward core is... Uh, okay, maybe. We could maybe take some assets here. We could maybe have some trade trade away some assets for other for, for other forward assets. I don't need another goaltender, so we're good in goaltending prospects. Could maybe grab uh, a rental here. Maybe okay, Cameron Talbot. N no, thank you. Ooh, Braden Point has what? He has zero value. So this is maybe something here. I don't know why they're apparently has zero value. So will this go through? Wait, wait, what do they want from me? Okay, like skaters matching the block. Let's see what they want from me. Okay, and then let's see. Maybe Tessier. Tessier I would give. And yeah, probably that. Or fan. No. Okay, what is your surplus? Wait a sec. Let's check Tampa Bay's trading block surplus. Oh, the thing is that... The thing is that if we trade... We can't play Braden Point till next year. Okay, let's check their... No, 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 no. Wait a sec. Why are they bringing me back to this screen? I want to go back there. It's so, like, how's that even a thing? Okay, surplus. Okay, so what do they want here? Okay. Between, uh, okay. Low, okay. So they want, like, a low, low something. Okay. So they, all they want is a forward. So that's all they want for... Okay, and also their trading block too. So maybe their two firsts. Well, th this this might even go through. Like a trade like this might even go through. So maybe Peeling Villardi. Yes, why not? Peeling and Tessier. The thing is that I won't have, yeah, probably just Tessier, nah, it, it will not even go through. I would wait till next year to make this trade, okay? Like, wait till next year, and then after that, we will make that trade, revisit it, okay? Because Braden Point cannot, he cannot play with our team anyway. Okay, he's not in the lineup. He's he's an RFA. He should have signed by December 1st. Maybe we would have even traded for that on December 1st if we knew he was still an RFA. But okay. Oh, okay. We, we got two, two wins here, but apparently... And another goalie that gets injured. And is he doing good? Wait a sec. Has he done good? Well, it looks like he's been... Injured for like part of the year, so uh, Georgiev, Georgiev is okay. In a sec. Okay, so we have to bring Luka Pekka Lukin and down. Yeah, that is what's the problem here. Because we had too many goalies in our roster. Well, too many players. We could have three goalies in our roster, but. Oh my god, you guys are actually kidding me. You guys are actually kidding me. Again. Oh, okay. We're just back. I just finished managing uh, the injury. 
of Georgiev. So, has Amadio done something? He played one game. Has Obekubel done something? Honestly, uh, maybe, maybe Amadio. Okay, yes. It would maybe. Okay, wait, wait. Let, let's put him back in the lineup first. God. Let's put him back in. Okay, wh what has been going going on here? So let's I don't know if we if we will make the playoffs. But I'm trying to make a push here, okay? I'm trying to make a push. So what do we have here? We'll we, we will put Walker in. Why not? So yes. Big game, big winning situation here, okay? Like, it's it's actually time to win. Okay. 31 points. Kopitar is actually doing good. I don't know why. I have no idea why there's nothing. I have no idea why he's still dropping off. Even, even with his production. Wait a sec, wait a sec, guys. Uh, 74 points Oh We're one point out Okay So let's uh, Let's simulate to this game Ooh th This is a good team Replace player Okay This is a good team Like honestly this year, I just wouldn't want to be losing. So let's just simulate till here. Oh my god, we lost 42. Shootout loss, come on. Okay, draft class. I, I have to also think about the draft, okay? Because, uh... Can he get scouted? No, he can't. He is getting scouted right now, this guy. Yeah... Like, these guys are getting scouted. But, you know, I've got... I fired, uh, I fired like, every... Every HL scout because apparently they're they're completely useless. Okay, Georgiev uh, is back in the lineup. Lukanen... Go learn... Uh, go learn the AHL. It's better off with you. Well, well you're better off doing this, so... Yes. Where is, uh... Okay. Shestyorkin. He's actually a guy I created. You know, because he wasn't... He wasn't in the game. So, uh, I actually had to create him. Uh, Lukanen. Lukanen, I just want him to grow. By next year, is going to be good. Okay? Like, maybe this year wasn't his year. But good thing we traded for him. But actually... The actual, his actual potential was actually, uh, why? Like, why does he have to be like that? Anze Kopitar, I think he has to retire next year. Like, retire next year. Because he's actually getting, okay, the Mesnikov go to center. I don't know who has more face-offs, but, oh, come on. Oh, my God. I think this playoff race is over. We're, we're losing games. We need a defenseman. Okay, like, look. And games like that. We're letting another four goals. Come on, shootout win. This is actually very bad. Next year in free agency, a stud defenseman. A stud D. Like... Honestly, we were in this race, honestly. Like, the beginning of the year was actually promising, but did we actually have to do this? Do this? Okay. Victor Mete has had five points with his new team. Okay. Best lines. Hagman, you're up there. Let's see. Oh, okay. 4-1 win. 4-1 win. 4-1 win. So, let's just do the other lines. Okay, Tessier. On uh, the Mesnikov, I don't want you there. Uh, well, Lundell, I would put you there. And then, yeah. Until Lundell is at... 
Okay. Cousins, trust you in the first line, okay? I think the game, I don't know what the game did, but okay. Okay, let's see our situation right now. I don't I don't think we're making the playoffs. Oh, we're third in our division. But we're not qualified for the we're not qualified for the playoffs. Wait, wait. Look at this. Okay. So let's just simulate here. Okay. Uh same first period. Okay. F Hackman scored. Second period. Okay. We see your 6 to 2 win. Let's go. So, it's a big win here. Ryan Peeling got injured. Oh my god. Why is Ryan Peeling such injury prone? Like, I have to deal with this every single time. Which is very very fatal. Yeah, like this. Yeah, but this episode we we've, we've done some some smart trades, okay? I think we got what he need, what we needed, but apparently it didn't work as we maybe wanted to. But I think we're making the playoffs, so it's it's okay. Okay, so we're third in our division. We win again. And we're qualified, guys. So I think, uh, so I think due to a loss, we got qualified. So there's still a race. Well, the race is over, okay? The Central Division completely got all the wildcard teams. Like the worst in the division in the in the Central. Was better than than Calgary Flames, who were fourth in our division. So, huh? Strong division in the in Central. So we're playing probably Arizona, unless unless we get over them. But they're four points ahead, and we just got a, a big win against them recently. So this is good. One nothing loss. We're, we're qualified. So. Honestly, we breed better here. We need all our players for. Uh, we need. We we need the team here. Okay, we need it here. So let's just go check uh, the stats. So we we are playing against Arizona. So let's check the season stats. Here. 70 points for, for William Carlson. Okay. Uh, let's go on forwards. Okay. Cozens at 62. Hagman at 59. Mm. This is more a uh, down season for him. I think it's his... Uh, I think it's his... Yeah, okay. So, it's it's actually something where, like, the rookies have a good rookie year. But, like, their second year is just trash. So... Uh, I don't I don't remember how you call it so Okay Kopitar Kopitar is at what an 83 overall I think I think he has to get up okay Obiku bad two points uh so big production by the team here Defenseman fifty four points for Drew Doughty twenty six for Mete twenty one for Niku twenty for Pedersen Five, five for Stetcher and Carrick. Three for Walker and two for Esterly. Walker was actually minus fourteen, but Mete was minus eighteen. Well, it's probably like part time his stats or with Montreal, so maybe most of his plus mi most of his uh, minuses probably went was there. So, okay, Shestyorkin. Okay, nine oh eight. Uh, okay. He pro he could probably do better in the playoffs. Okay, so yeah. So let's end the episode here, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button, and yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next one.